This is our family sunfish, and it needs a lot of work. Once we're done with the work, we can take it sailing. Actually, this is an episode about epoxy and fiberglass. So I scraped and I sanded. Wear a mask. I sanded some more and some more. And I kept on sanding. Most people recognize when doing a project like this that it's 80 or 90 percent prep work and only 10 or 20 percent finishing. Honestly, if I used my grinder, this would be faster. But it'd make me all itchy and fiberglass dust and I don't want to be itchy so I'm going to do it the slow way. After many hours of sanding later, eventually I've done enough work to prep for fiberglassing. Got to get all of your dust out of the voids. You can't just wipe this out. A dry brush helps a lot. I'm going to be using a thick biaxial cloth for this. It's called biaxial because it's got chopped strand mat on one side and then a woven, a tight knit woven. And if you look real close, you can actually see that it's stitched. So we're going to use that. We're going to cut all of our pieces to the right shape. Okay, that'll be one piece. It covers all of this area that's problematic. I'm going to get that wrapped right there. And it's going to go right there first and cover that big void. This will go there. This cutout needs to be a smidgen deeper. Now, once you have all of your pieces collected, just dry fit them all again. Promise you, you won't regret this step. If there's anything wrong, this is where you're gonna notice it, right here. Now, as long as one of my pieces of glass that I've prepped blow away in the wind, which is likely. Oh, yep, there went one. That's not what we want. 